This is going to be a quick video talking about one aspect of Bafo or Baphomet culture. Some people have asked, oh, what do you mean by Bafo? Bafo is just short for Baphomet because as far as I know, it seems like that's what this culture, what, what they worship. They worship Baphomet. They really push the notion of uh, trans and look at the statue of Baphomet and you know they're all about pushing trans beauty and and making androgyny out to be the the best thing ever and just look at the media nothing new the media has always been it's obvious that they push androgyny and yeah it goes into alchemy and I just say Bafo to to talk about there's a whole class of people that they all do the same things you know that's what it, it's it's a culture it's a baffo culture and it transcends all over the world there's people that do the same sort of things and so that's why i make the it's really why i started making videos to begin with is to find other people who are like yeah that that happened to me too and there's going to be so many people out there that can relate to these videos that's why i do like making these videos and that's why i'm going to share a few comments because I think people like these videos because they, they can relate. They're like, oh, that, that happened to me too when I was growing up. Or, oh, my family was just like that. So I'm going to read this comment. It's so interesting that you mentioned the silverware. I was talking about spoons. Spoons are a big symbol. These people communicate with signs and symbols. They don't necessarily sit down and write a book about saying this is what spoon represents. It's kind of just I think that they see enough of it through context and they have discussions behind closed doors, certainly. Um, but I don't think that there's like a, a well-defined list of what all of their signs and symbols mean. It's about context and about reading the situation. Like, for instance, the triad claw. Uh, I most often just see that where people are just like when they before they come into your house or if you're standing around a group of people. And I think that those people, they think that they're like in charge. Because, you know, if you go look at all the old portraits of the big shots. They're doing that symbol. So I think that they they think if I do the symbol in public, I'm like that I'm like a big shot. I'm in control of this room right now because I'm doing the symbol. I think that they're really they really think that. <clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna keep reading. I had three small children with my husband. After my parents left, our spoons were almost all gone. I asked my husband, who was from Brazil, if witches have a thing with spoons. He knows Macumba as many Brazilians come into contact with this, not sure how it's pronounced, and he said, yes, absolutely. I do believe my Bafo mother threw them in the trash. She also has a history of stealing from me. She threw away many of my textbooks when I was in school, getting me into trouble, and stole almost all the jewelry I bought with my babysitting money. It's hard to say, I mean, because my dad threw away my homework too, and it's just because he's a, a crazy OCD freak. So some people will have similar stories, but for different reasons. Um, this sounds more targeted, like like this person really has it out to get her. Um, <clears throat> whereas in a lot of times, these people will just, they're narcissistic and they just cause damage all around them. And it might not, not necessarily be like super targeted, um, but you, you still might have similar stories. I'm just saying like my, I, I did grow up where... A lot of times my stuff would get thrown away, but in, it was just slightly different. It's because my dad is OCD and narcissistic, but he also was a baffo. That's these people. They are similar. They act similar a lot of times. <clears throat> Here's this next one. This was actually the comment that made me want to make this video and talk about one aspect of the culture, and that's these uh, training episodes. So I'm going to read this. I'm 100% sure my mom is the family handler. Everyone has always answered to her and my brothers have always been putting her on a pedestal. I also remember when we were at a vacation where my mom is from and I left with my dad and my mother and two brothers stayed behind. I found it so weird, but now I know that they were probably going to get illuminated and maybe some tea training. <clears throat> this was an excellent comment. It, on the surface, it doesn't seem like that much is happening, but I can just relate to this so much. And I think it's really important because these people, they just act in certain subtle ways that are very abnormal. What this reminds me of is the the whole story of 
uh, my brother's facial implants and how they tried to blame it on me. They, he just had a planned plastic surgery appointment and they performed this whole psyop on me in the morning to make it, to make it out. Like I hit my brother in the head with a baseball bat. <clears throat> I did not. The, I've talked about the story in the past. I don't need to rehash the whole story. But the point of that story that relates here is I remember right after the incident happened, they shuttled me and my sister off to school. And while, while my brother was like allegedly bleeding out profusely in the house, and it's stuff like that that doesn't make any sense. Why would they split up the family like that when something is going on? That, it's like this, how you'll go on vacation and the family will get split up for some reason. Or, and this is, goes into the tea training thing, just weird vacations by themselves and one parent. Like my, <clears throat> my sister went to, to somewhere for the soccer camp. And I thought that was really weird that she went with just my mom, no invitation or anything to anybody else in the family. And it's not like we didn't have, we could have afforded to, to take the whole family over there, but it, it was very much around the time of puberty too. So I, I think that it was like getting schooled about all the reproductive consequences of being Swire syndrome. And that's probably just when they have the talk and they, they do all sorts of, there's like a timeline. I think it's probably different for every family. So it really is different for every family. Cause you'll see the more like openly satanic ones. They really get a kick out of telling their really young kids to already start doing the hand signs and taking pictures of it. And you'll see all over social media, like a bunch of baffos cracking up and one of the little kids will be like throwing devil horns or something. And yeah, they post the stuff all over social media. I haven't had social media in ages, but one of the very first things that I did when I woke up was go through all of my social media, looking at all the photos, looking at them throwing hand signs. It's, uh, I mean, I, I don't think about that very often, but that was a large aspect of my waking up sitting back looking through all the photos of all the people that I noticed and that I grew up with and noticing that they're all throwing the same signs. It's probably one of the more disturbing parts of waking up. <clears throat> okay. So I'll just, I'll say two more things, two more personal things. People like the personal stories probably because they have things that they can relate to. Uh, just something that comes to mind is it's kind of interesting to think back and try to think of like, Oh, what, what were they being taught around this time? Because I know that around fifth grade, my sister wore orange like nobody's business. She had this, the bright orange, the safety color orange 33. She had an orange t-shirt and she wore that thing like none of her other stuff. And I think it's because at the time she had been told, oh yeah, orange is our color. Orange is a special color. And yeah, so that was in you know, the end of middle or the end of elementary school, <clears throat> excuse me. And middle school is when they start telling them about the, uh, the various, um, human anatomy things. Cause middle school is when I remember being, that's when the baffos start pointing out people's skeletons and starting because they do the same thing. And it's kind of sad because they come from a situation where their their parents will start poking at them, poking fun at them for the ways that they're that they look weird or whatever, and they they end up going and taking it out on on regular people because while they are getting their tea training, learning how to you know no you got to walk like this, they're they're being made fun of. You're walking like a dude, like you gotta. So they end up flipping that and throwing it there. There's so much projection going on from these people. They just ooze insecurity. And, uh, unfortunately what ends up happening is they constantly are putting down the physical appearance of non-inverted individuals. It's really bad. And I think that, yeah, they do it to just cause they hate us and to make us have bad. They, they really want us to have no self-confidence. They're very good at it. Um, yeah, I mean that's mostly mostly it for this. 
Luke chapter 12, verse 53. The father shall be divided against the son, and the son against the father, the mother against the daughter, and the daughter against the mother, the mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. I think that this is more of a verse just talking about to the talking about the breakdown of the family unit that we see everywhere today. Uh, but it just also reminds me of the black sheep aspect of being among baffos when you're not one of them. You're going to feel like an outsider. You're going to feel like they're against you, like unfairly pitted against you. Uh, and yeah, I, I definitely grew up with a lot of that, feeling like an outsider. And... Uh, for no reason, no, and no amount of trying to fit in or get included is going to do any difference. Uh, that's what the twenties, my twenties were about figuring out that it doesn't matter what I do. They're, they just want to see me suffer. Uh, yeah. Let me know in the comments how you like this video and God bless everyone.